There was this king seated in his garden all alone When his brother in his ear pulled a little bit of henbane Stole his brother's crown and his money and his widow But the dead king walked and got his son and said Hey listen kiddo I've been killed and it's your duty To take revenge on Claudius You kill him quick and clean and tell the nation what a fraud he is The kid says right I'll do it but I'll have to play crafty So that no one will suspect me I'll kid on that I'm a dafty So with all except Horatio and he counts him as a friend Hamlet that's the kid he kids on he's round the bend and because he isn't ready for obligatory killing he tries to make the king think that he's tuppence off the shilling takes a rise out of polonia streets poor ophelia vile tells rose and Krantz and guildenstern denmark's a bleeding jail then a group of traveling actors like 784 arrive to do a special one night gig in elsinore hamlet hamlet acting balmy hamlet hamlet loves his mommy hamlet hamlet hesitating wonders if the ghosts are cheat, and that is why he's waiting. So Hamlet wrote a scene for the players to enact, so Horatio and him could watch to see if Claudia's cracked. Now the play was called The Mouse Trap, not the one that's running now. And sure enough, the king walks out before the final bow. So Hamlet's got the proof that Claudius give his dad the dose. The only problem being now that Claudius knows he knows so well. Hamlet tells his mother her new husband's not a fit one. Uncle Claude puts out a contract with the English king as hitman. So when Hamlet killed Polonius, the concealed corpus delecti was the king's excuse to send him for an English hemp and necktie with Rosencrantz and Guildenstern to make quite sure he got there. But Hamlet jumped the boat and foot put the finger straight on that pair. When Laertes heard his dad had been stabbed through the arras, he came running back to Elsinore, to sweet hot foot from Paris and Ophelia with her dad killed by the man she wants to marry. After saying it with flowers, she committed Harry Carry. Hamlet, Hamlet, no messing. Hamlet, Hamlet, learned his lesson. Hamlet, Hamlet, Yorick's crust convinced him that men, good or bad, at last must come to dust. Then Laertes lost his place and was demanding retribution. The king says, keep your head and I'll provide you a solution. So he arranged a sword fight for the interested parties with a blunted sword for Hamlet and a sharp sword for Laertes to make double sure the old belt and braces line. He fixed a poison sword tip and a poison cup of wine. Well, the poison sword got Hamlet, but Laertes went and muffed it because he got stabbed himself and he confessed before he snuffed it. Then Hamlet's mummy drank the wine and as her face turned blue, Hamlet said, I believe the king's a baddie through and through. Incestuous, murderous, damned Dane, he said to be precise and made up for hesitating once by killing Claudius twice because he stabbed him with the knife and forced the wine between his lips. He says the rest is silence. That was Hamlet had his chips. They fired a volley over him that shook the topmost rafter, then fought in brass, knee deep in Danes, lived happy ever after. Hamlet, Hamlet, all that gory. Hamlet, Hamlet, end of story. Hamlet, Hamlet, I'm on my way. If you thought that was boring, you should read the bloody play. <laughs> Thank you.